as a coach, you have a job you have to do. As a player, you have a job that you have to do. So you got to come together as one, you know, allowed to be coached. The good teams allow their coach to coach them, you know. And to be great, you have to be coached hard. My name is Sam Cassell. I'm assistant coach for the Los Angeles Clippers. Yeah, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, childhood was like any other city kid, you know. It made me who I am, made me a strong individual. Uh, it, kept me, it kept me out of trouble, but there was trouble everywhere around me. But you know, I was strong-minded. I wanted to do something different in my life. Um, my whole dream was getting a, a Division I scholarship. Um, I took the long route to get there. I went to a junior college in um, uh, Pasadena, Texas, called San Jacinto uh, Community College, which started right there for me becoming uh, a professional basketball player. Um, you know, going from Baltimore and going to Pasadena, Texas was, was, was definitely different for me. I had a special uh, coach down there named Scott Janander, who was the first coach to ever tell me if I do the right things academically, I will have a chance to play professional basketball. It's always been my dream to coach basketball. Early in my career, I just fell in love with the game. I was so passionate about the game of basketball. So I think NBA basketball is 80% mental. When you're having a bad game, can you bounce back from a bad game? Can you have enough dignity and guts to pull yourself through a bad outing because you have a game the next night. A lot of guys fall short because they're still wondering about their previous game that they played bad in, you know, and that game's over with. You can't get that back. I'm a basketball junkie, man. I just love watching basketball. I watch some college basketball games. I watch Little League basketball. If a friend of my son plays basketball, you know, I just like to see kids have fun. I think there's too many people put so much pressure on these kids. If you're a phenomenon, it, 10 years old and everyone's saying that you're going to be the next best player. But that don't give a kid a chance to have fun. Even with my son, I used to always tell my son, every game he played, he came out the court. I greeted him, I said, did you have fun? If you ain't having fun playing amateur sports, you know, why play it? The message I like to give all the coaches, young coaches that want to get into this position, um, Keep working, work, strive. You gotta be right, you gotta be confident to be a coach in the NBA. You have to be. Because you're dealing with strong egos, strong personalities, that you don't wanna overshadow them, but you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, and do you have enough nerve to tell a player that you're wrong? You know? Or can you take it when you're wrong? That's coaching.